G'day, my name's Terry Ray from Galaxy Heat Press Australia and I'm going to take about 20 to 25 minutes of your time today and what I suggest is that you do continue to watch this video if you're interested in finding out all about a heat press. We're not going to go into the details of one against the other and different models and sizes. All I'm going to do today is actually go right in to the nitty gritty of a heat press, right in underneath the cover and show you what actually happens when you x-ray a heat press from a good quality heat press like our Galaxy all the way over to our Stockman, which is sold overseas as a Neptune heat press. And we're also gonna grab one of these cheap eBay ones as well. What we're going to do is, you know when you hurt your arm or your leg, and you, no one knows what's underneath the skin or in the bone, what we do is we go for an x-ray, right? Yep. X-ray gets straight through it into the nitty gritty and then we can look at what's happening, right? Well, we're gonna do exactly the same today. This is a, an x-ray of another machine I did at another time. However, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go through the step-by-steps of doing an x-ray of the heat platen in each of these machines, okay? I'll be back in a second. Don't go away. Okay, back again. Okay, let's talk about the presses that we're gonna show you today. This press is the Stockman here in Australia, Neptune all over the seas, sold all around the world, as is our Galaxy heat press. You've all probably seen it out there now. This is sold, it's been selling unbelievable for about five years all around the world. I can't tell you the countries, US, France, Italy, Germany, UK, you name it, this is the machine. Look, look, at it. look how easy it opens up. Beautiful, more on that soon, okay? And, and this one over here is the cheap eBay one that you see. They all look the same. Yes, you look at this, and you look at possibly the Neptune over here, the same design. But are they different? My word, they are. What we're gonna to do today is we're gonna x-ray it. If you're gonna spend three, four, five hundred dollars on something like this, or even 200, believe it or not, there's some out there for 150, 180 dollars. Can you believe it? 150 dollars for something like that, or 300. If you're gonna spend that money, you'd be better off spending it over here on this beautiful little A4 hobby press. Look, beautiful, beautiful platen, the same as what's in these two, which we're gonna cover very shortly in our x-raying, okay? so. Don't go away again, because now what we're going to do now is turn these heat presses on, we're going to warm them up, and we're going to do some sublimating. Now sublimation is very important, because sublimation allows the ink to outgas into a polyester fibre, and it happens at a specific time and temperature and pressure. If that's not right, it won't happen. Some parts will, some parts won't. It has to be between 190 and 200 degrees for around 60 seconds with the right even pressure. These machines will do it, no problems whatsoever. The ones on eBay, be careful. You've often wondered why when you're peeling a transfer, parts of it stick and parts of it don't. Well, I'm gonna show you why. We're gonna take that cover off and we're gonna actually show it, all right? So don't go away. Stay here, I'm coming back again. Okay, well, welcome back. Now, what we're gonna do before we actually go in and do the x-raying, I'm just gonna run this heat gun over the platens just to give you a bit of an indication on the, the evenness of the press, the platens on these two presses compared to the eBay press, right? Now, that eBay press there came from a customer that couldn't work out why her transfers weren't sticking and why it was so inconsistent. Eventually I showed her what we're doing here today and then she realised it was a total waste of money and she wished she'd bought a heat press from us, one of the hobby presses of one of the galaxies. I think she ended up buying a Stockman from us to be from memory. I'm just not too sure to be honest. It was that long ago, it was about a year or two years ago. Now look, what we're gonna do first is I wanna come back about what I said about all machines aren't the same. This is my iPhone that I'm going to record the temperatures on the gun whilst I, you record me doing it, right? Uh, this iPhone was made in China, yes. So was our Galaxy and so was our Stockman or our Neptune. This cost $1,200. The iPhone X is $1,800. I remember years back I was in China and I actually bought one of the 
you know, the copies, and I think I paid about $50, $100, and you know what, it lasted about two or three weeks. It was fantastic, we had fun with it. Then the real iPhones were out there, we didn't know about them, right? But so, what I'm saying is, all machines aren't the same. So, let's move on now, okay? So this is our gun, heat gun, and I'm gonna turn this video on now, right? So here I go, on with the video. And firstly, I'm gonna measure the temperature on the wall, and the measure on the wall is 30 degrees, which is understandable because there's a lot of heat generated here. We've got three machines going, right? Now this machine over here is heating up. Deliberately slow, let it heat up. It, when it gets to temperature, it's gonna beep, and it's gonna annoy me, so that's why I turn it off so it would heat up slowly and not interrupt what we're doing. So if you hear it beeping, you'll know what it is, okay? So firstly, let's hit this temperature, this, uh, the Galaxy heat press, okay? Look at this. Ready, here we go. There we go, look, right in the middle, 197, we're just gonna come back over here, 198, over to the side, 201, 199, back over here slowly, 200 degrees, all the way across again, look, that's the middle. Now we're gonna come around to the front. Look at that, all the way to there. Look, how even is that all the way across the platen there? So we've done the middle, now we're doing the side of the front. Now we're gonna go back to the middle again. Now we're gonna go back down here. I'm gonna turn the gun on the side so you can actually get the right reading. Now, hear the beeping over there? There it goes, bloody hell. So there's 197, on again, look, 198, all the way across to here, 199. Look, it doesn't get any better than that, I can assure you, right? Now, we're gonna cut, oh, by the way, let's look at the temperature on the dial. Look at that, 200 degrees. Now we're gonna come across to here. This is the Stockman or the Neptune. And here we go, bang, in the middle. And there it is, 198, look at that, perfect. Exactly the same, 197, 195, 195, 197, 198, look, 200. Look, we're, we're, we're so good, it's not funny, eh? Hey? Look at that. Okay, so now we're gonna go across to this machine and it's set at 197 and that's fluctuating all over the place, this one. So anyway, let's fire it in the middle. Let's go down here. Look at that. 184, 190, 194, 195, over to here, 188. Let's go over to this side, 183. Now we go down to the front, 200. Wow, look at that, 200 up there. 189 over there, look. Now down here, this is where I'm gonna turn it on the side again. And look at that, look, 172. Now this is where it's really crucial because all around here, you're gonna see the variation when we x-ray this machine. Look at that, 169, 170, okay. So, and as you can see, 194, 198, look at that variation. So, that's it. I'm gonna stop this video right now and then I'm gonna just tidy up, you know, just finish this little video. So we'll put them away for a minute. But as you can see, I'm just going to turn this press off for a minute. It's really crazy. Okay, there you go. So we'll turn that off. So I'm leaving these ones on and we're going to come back in a little bit now because I've got my material. Here's our material that we're going to x-ray these machines with. That one goes on there, that one goes on there, and that one goes on there. Okay? Don't go away because now we are really getting into the nitty gritty. Okay? See you soon. Welcome back. And now for the nitty gritty. We're actually going to sublimate this flat tint of about a 70% grey over the whole base of the heat press, which in fact is exactly the same as doing an x-ray. If it was a full coloured photograph with all different colours and tones, sometimes you can't really see it. And the only way you know it is if when you're doing other transfers and it won't stick properly or it sticks too much. This will actually show you exactly how these platens are heat pressing. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is just put this, these flat tints over here, and we're going to come back here now, and I'm going to do all these three at the same time, and as you can probably hear, that press over there is not beeping at the moment. So we're going to throw the fabric on the press like this, like so. 100% polyester, white, and that's nearly up to temperature over there. And like so. And we're just going to close each press down for about 
20, 30 seconds, just to take out any if there's any little bits of moisture there, and just to flatten it all out so that we're getting the whole evenness across the whole lot. So we're going to lift this one, and we're just going to flatten that down now, like so. Lift this one up, flatten it down like so, and lift up the stop one, like so. And just lay them all out nice and flat. Okay, keep watching this is going to blow you all away and if you ever think about buying a press on, e on eBay for a few hundred dollars oh, just put this video back on better still if you do think about buying one of those those heat presses for a couple hundred dollars or 500 just tell the guy that you're going to get one of those heat guns it's beeping again just tell him tell the person that you're going to get the heat gun and you're going to test it and if it's within if it's, if it's not within, let's be a bit generous here, within four or five degrees, or three degrees, four or five, we'll just tell them you're going to send it back. Simple. Okay, so what we've done here now is we've laid the transfer paper right over the middle, and the same for the Galaxy, and I've colour coded these, so after we press each one, then when I hold the fabrics up to sh show you the actual uh, tone, you'll be able to sort of pick each one out. So pretty much there we go. So we're just going to lay that down there. And we're going to start these about 15 seconds or 20 seconds between each other just to give me enough time to get the other one off. Or we might even start 30 seconds. Uh, just hang fire for a sec. I'll be back in one minute. Nothing's changing, I've just got to get my phone to manually time this press because the time is not working. I'll be back in a second. Okay, I'm back again, right? Uh, it's set for one minute, so I'm just going to leave that there, put the gun over to there, and when I finish, I'm going to just put each fabric down here on this bench in front of us, right? So firstly, we're going to do this one, the eBay one. So we're going to start it up. Can you believe it? It's decided not to be. Oh God, how strange. Okay, here we go, start. And we're just gonna close it down and lock it in. Okay, so that's 54. And we'll come over to the Galaxy. Get it all ready. Like so. Actually, actually we, we should wait a little bit because two of them are going to go off at the same time. So let's get that one out the way. Why don't we do that? You're not going anywhere. You, you want to see it all happening. So, yeah, when the beeper goes off, I'll pull that off. Then I'll do the Galaxy. When that finishes, then I'll do the Stockman or the Neptune. Okay, that's fair. Oh, it's starting the beep again. Go figure. Okay, here we go. Two seconds, one second, stop, and lift it up. Take off the paper, and we're just going to grab this one, right? So you say so you, you know, there it is, yellow for the Galax for the eBay, right? And as you can see straight away, there's something not quite right with that, but we'll come back to that. Okay, now we might turn this one off because I've had a gut full of it. Oh, I'm tired. Okay, that's off. Okay, now let's do the Galaxy, right? Here we go. Let's lock the Galaxy in. And that's counting down, as you can see, 55. We'll turn this timer off. And put the phone away. Oh, put my glasses back up. <laughs> and uh, that's counting down. Put them over there. And uh, so what can I say? Well, let's see what happens, eh? Uh, yeah, like I said, this galaxy, dollar for dollar, these are being sold all around the world. I've actually got a leading sports brand here in Australia, one of the main codes of sport have bought seven of these in the last two months and they've got them in their stores and they're going to roll out 
them throughout Australia in their other stores. And I can tell you now, they're not buying rubbish. So up we go, and we take the paper off, and we put this one back on the press. Right, there it is again, no, no shenanigans. And now we come over to here to the stockman, and we're going to do exactly the same. We're just going to close that down and lock it in. And there it goes, counting down, 57, 55. Now, what I'm going to do is, uh, I'll turn this off now because we're finished, why not? So we'll turn it off. What I am going to do is, I'm going to hold each one of these materials up in this video clip and hopefully in the video clip you'll see exactly what I'm getting at but then I'm going to stop it bring the video uh, the camera around to a different position so that you can actually see it in a more better light but we'll just see we'll play that by ear because you have to see the difference in these and when you see it it'll just blow you away here we are back over here now to the stockman so really the only difference between the Galaxy and the Stockman or the Neptune is just the body. This has got springs, this has got gas struts, all laser cut, all put together like the old style. So up we go and we take this off, like so, and then we bring this back and there it is again, no shenanigans, okay, and there they are, right? So what we're going to do now is, these are three, three materials. Right, I'm just going to place them down there. We're going to get rid of these papers because we're going to show you these as well. We'll put them over here, right? And now what I'm going to show you right now is, firstly, the Stockman press. Now I hope you can see that. That is perfectly even all the way across the grey. Would you agree? This is the Galaxy Press. Perfectly grey all the way across the area. Would you agree? Okay, now, make sure you're sitting down when I show you this, because this is one reason why you would not spend two, three, four hundred dollars on an eBay machine or anything around that, because they're rubbish. Look at that. Can you see that? Now, Keep in mind, up the top is the back of the machine where we were actually showing you the variation in the rooting. Now I'm going to come bring that up closer. Look at that, right? But wait, it gets even better, right? We'll just put that back down there, okay? Now, here are the papers. Look at this. Look, see the, the light part is where it's actually sublimated. Look at the back part, because that's where the thermostat is at the back. And that's measuring the heat. And because it's getting too hot, it's turning the temperature down at the back. Look, and it's not flat around the back. No wonder your transfers aren't sticking. Anyway, that's all I can say. Now I'll show you the other two bits of paper too, so you can actually see it. Right, and there it is. Look. That's the Galaxy Press. Look how even, it's taken every bit of ink off that paper. And let's go to the Stockman or the Neptune. I tell you, if you're looking for a great heat press anywhere in the world, make sure you get one of these Galaxies or Stockmans or Neptunes. There it is, look. So, having said that, I'm gonna cut this video right now and I'm gonna check out how it showed. And if I feel that it's not showing you exactly how, what I want to get across to you, I'll just do another clip. So if you don't see another clip, you'll know that I'm quite happy and I've got the point across. So keep in mind, summarizing why would you wanna spend two to 300 or even four, five, it's not even worth going there. And I know there's a chap in England called Mr. Martin Butler. Fantastic bloke. He teaches people online. He doesn't sell anything, 
you should go onto his YouTube channel and have a look at some of his videos where he's done the testimonials on the Galaxy. So I sell these machines, so yeah, of course, you're thinking I'm a bit of a salesman, but no, I'm not. I just like to help people and I don't like to see people hurt. So do yourself a favour, stay away from those cheap, nasty Chinese ones and if you want to save some dollars, don't get an international one, a European or a UK one, especially if you're starting out. But even if you're in the trade, give it a go. You've got nothing to lose. Okay, at the risk of boring you further, I did say in the last clip that you just watched that I would come back if I couldn't really see what I was trying to get the point across to you guys at. Look, all this would have been a complete waste if I didn't go through this last couple of seconds or a minute or so. Okay, we've got the three presses here, right? Okay, I'm just going to open the Galaxy back up, right? So we're going to open that up because we're going to finish putting each print back on the press. The first one we're going to show you is the eBay again. There's the printed sheet. Now, you can clearly see the top, right? I'm going to bring that close to you so you can see how it's not sublimated on the top. So we're going to throw that back on this press here. Now I'm going to bring the fabric over to you. Here it is. There's the fabric, look. Okay, so I'm sure you can see it now because I've got the light behind the camera this time. Okay, look, why would you do it? Put it there. I should box this up, throw it out the back in the skip. And this is a Stockman press. Look at that. How even is that, right? That's this print sheet that's took all the ink off. We'll put that over here on our Stockman or Neptune. And there's our printed fabric sheet, okay? Proof is in the pudding, isn't it, eh? So that goes over there like that. And last but not least, the best heat press bar none in the world today, and it's a privilege to be able to offer these to people. And I know that it's been five years of hard work to get to where we are with this Galaxy heat press. More on it a little bit later because I'm going to show you all about the ins and outs of it and why it's so good. So finally, there's a sublimation print. Now if anyone's in sublimation, look, you'll know how important this is, okay? And I think that just about does it. It's been a pleasure doing the x-rays of these machines. So like I said, tell the person out there if you're not happy with the platen, you're going to measure it with a heat gun, and if it's within three or four degrees or outside that, a lot, if it's not within the tolerances, you're going to send it back. It's easy, okay? You take care now, and good luck.